I just almost took this Cinema Secrets brush cleaner and literally drank it. I was this close to bringing it up to my mouth. I don't even have a bottle in front of me. Like, what? Show everyone how furry you are. You are a hot mess. I have to brush you every day. You look like a sponge, but you know what? We're gonna get through this. We are gonna get through this together. Uh, can we talk about Phyllis and how she's thriving right now? Yes, Phyllis, work girl. She's got new growth up here. Yes, yes, yes. One more time. Mm, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole, and today I'm sharing with you my top seven drugstore products. Now hear me out, listen up, come a little bit closer. I tried my best to narrow this down to five products, okay? Like, how cute would this thumbnail be? Instead, I have to go like this. I tried so hard to narrow it down and I literally couldn't get it farther than seven products. They're all in different categories. So we've got mascaras, foundations, concealers, bronzers, etc. They're all from the drugstore and I think they're all pretty universally wearable. Now, obviously, if you're more into like matte foundation, you might have to apply a mattifying primer or something like that. But overall, I highly, highly recommend each and every one of these on the same level of recommendation, which is why I couldn't narrow it down any further. I also thought it was perfect timing for this because you know, you're going to the grocery store to get your groceries, which typically has a makeup section for drugstore makeup. You're running to the pharmacy to get some medicine. They have a drugstore makeup section. So I thought it would be a good time to share these because it's a lot more easily accessible. They're more affordable and let me tell you, Drugstore makeup has seriously started to compete with some high-end makeup, but with that said, drugstore prices have gone up. If you haven't gone drugstore shopping for makeup in years, you're in for a surprise, but they're still relatively affordable depending on budget. So I just thought it was the perfect time to share this with you today. So with all that said, if you are interested in seeing my top seven makeup products from the drugstore, go ahead and keep watching. All right, so we're gonna do things a little bit differently. As you can see, I have a different lens on my camera. This one focuses a little bit more on me. It's a little closer and I thought it would be helpful during this video so you could see me actually apply these as I talk through it. So the first thing we're gonna talk about and if you've been watching me for a while, you know it. It's the Physician's Formula, the Healthy Foundation. Now, yes, you can still get it. It's available on the Physician's Formula website. It's available at Walmart and some other retailers. So let me tell you, girl or boy, get your hands on this foundation while you can. I don't think they're discontinuing it, which is, again, why I wanted to include it because this is such a beautiful foundation. It is so stunning on the skin. It seriously looks healthy. That is the perfect name for it. It's not too dewy. It's definitely not on the matte side. So if you did like more of a matte foundation, you might want to go in with a mattifying primer before this, but it just looks like skin. This is my go-to foundation. It does have SPF in it. Now, obviously you don't want this to be your only form of SPF if you're going out or, you know, you should always include an SPF in your routine, but this isn't a skincare routine. So I'm not going to go off on that tangent, but just a beautiful, beautiful foundation. I've included this in so many favorites over the years. I'm using MW2 today because I do have self tan on my body that has come off my skin, but I just love how easily this blends out. It's buildable and it's just a really, really nice, lightweight, long wearing foundation. All right, next up, and again, no surprise to you guys, this is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish, and I am using the shade Light Beige here. I could probably go a little bit darker when I have self tan on, but I'm using what I have. I really like this stuff you guys I don't even need to set this I don't know if it's supposed to set down but for me it sets down to the point where I don't need to apply a powder under my eyes and I'm 31 years old I don't want to add any more emphasis to the fine lines under my eyes now obviously that's genetics as well I just have a lot of fine lines under my eyes and I don't have filler under there and I don't think I'm ever gonna get filler under there because ouch so I just kind of work with what I have and this just lasts all day it is the perfect amount of coverage I'd say it's a high medium coverage you could definitely build it up but you guys know I'm a little more reserved with my concealer I like to go in with just a couple of dots on the inner corner and outer corner and that is it 
That gives me the exact coverage I need, but if you did want a little bit more, you could do that as well. I love using this to spot conceal when I'm not going in with foundation as well. I'm just absolutely obsessed with this. I did not like the matte version at all. Now again, fine lines come into play there and I think that really emphasized those. So if you didn't want more of the natural finish, I wouldn't say this is glowy or dewy by any means. It's a satin finish, just like it says. It's very natural looking and I'm just obsessed with it. So if you were like me and you didn't like the matte version, pick this up. If you didn't like more of a natural finish under your eyes and you liked more of a matte finish, check out the matte version. This is like I think eight bucks from Target or CVS and it's just stunning. I know you'll love it. All right, next up we have the Milani Silky Matte Bronzing Powder. I am using the shade 02 Sunkissed here. You guys, this bronzer is one of the best formulas I've ever tried. I decided to go with a matte finish here because I think matte bronzers are just a little more wearable for the you know average person now i do love a nice shimmery bronzer like my l'oreal lumi i mean that's not shimmery like glittery i am not a glittery bronzer kind of person but i do like more of a natural finish with my bronzers but i think for the average user going in with a matte bronzer that's not too pigmented like this one here is just a lot more easy to use I definitely think that this can be used if you're getting at least this shade 02. It can be used as kind of like a bronzer, which is how I use it. I don't really contour these days. It's just it's just not my thing anymore. I'm not really into it. So I kind of do more of a bronzer thing. I apply just a little bit into my contour-ish area and then I kind of work it up onto the cheekbone so that it kind of kills two birds with one stone and it just makes life a lot easier for me and I think it just looks a lot more natural. So definitely check out the Milani bronzers. They come in three shades, I wanna say. It would be great if they could expand on that because these have gotten so popular, but they just blend so easy. It's almost foolproof because they're not super, super pigmented where when you dip in, you can really go in too heavily and you can blend them out super, super easily. I love it. There's no scent to it either if you're sensitive to that kind of thing. It's just a really, really nice product. So check this out next time you're in store. All right, now you guys know I'm gonna mention my Milani powder blushes. You guys, this formula, once again, I think is one of the best on the market. Again, it's not too pigmented where you're gonna go in and be like, oh man, what did I do? It's buildable, it looks natural. Now, some of them have more of a matte-ish finish and then some of them have more of kind of a sheen to it. I went in today with T-Rose, which is my absolute favorite. I like to apply my blushes a little bit farther back on the cheeks. That just kind of flatters my face a little bit more. I do have full cheeks, so I don't like to highlight that too much. So I keep mine back a little bit farther, but obviously that all depends on face shape. I am just obsessed with these. I've been into these for years. I want them to come out with a million more colors because I love them that much. Some other favorites are Blossom Time Rose and Powder Rose. Powder Rose was the first one I ever tried. And you guys, it's just a great, great formula. I've been wanting to get my hands on the Flower Beauty because they look so similar. I was almost like, mm, is, is that, is that a copy of Milani? You know what I mean? But I want to try those just to see. I'm 99.9% .9 sure Milani did it first. And I just, these are my go-tos. They're just very, very, very natural looking, very easy to blend, very easy to use. So check these out next time you're in store as well. You will love them. Next up, and once again, this is no surprise. It is the e.l.f. Wow Brow. I use the color Neutral Brown. This is a serious time saver, you guys. If you have some kind of brow that you can work with, like I do, like I don't have the most full brows in the world, but I definitely have some hairs that I can work with. And <laughs> yes, we definitely, definitely, definitely need our brows groomed right now, but I'm just kind of working with what I have until I can go get them threaded. But this just gives you brows in the snap of a fingers. It takes me a minute to get my brows on when I do this. It fluffs them. It gives them volume. It keeps them standing up straight. It gives them a little bit of a tint. It checks every single box I want in a brow product. And this is $4, you guys. 
four stinking dollars from Target or CVS or wherever you buy it. It is so affordable and I'm just absolutely obsessed with this. I've been talking about this over and over and over again. Yes, it's comparable to like the Benefit Gimme Brow, but Gimme Brow is in like the $20 mark, I think, or $18, somewhere crazy. This does the same exact thing and I think the undertones of the e.l.f. Wow Brow, at least in neutral brown, are a lot better than the Benefit undertones. I feel like Benefit always kind of pulls more like red, which I don't like. So check out the Wow Brow. You will be absolutely hooked and you will start to enjoy doing your brows. I know so many of us hate that process. You will start to enjoy doing your brows with this product. I promise, buy it, try it, and tell me you don't. You won't. All right, next up, and again, if you've been watching me for a while, none of these will be surprises to you. You're probably like, okay, girl, stop talking about that at this point, but we're talking about the Maybelline Snapscara. I discovered this when I recreated a Gigi Hadid makeup look from, oh, who did it? Who did it? I'll put her name right here. She is an amazing makeup artist and she used all Maybelline products. You guys know Gigi works with Maybelline, but that's how I discovered the Snapscara and I have never looked back since. This is so super similar in my eyes to the Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions, which you know I am such a fan of. I'm pretty sure this is a tubing mascara. That's a tubing mascara as well. It comes off so easy at night. I cannot stand when I have to like tear at my eyes to take my mascara off. It lengthens, it separates, it gives you volume, but it doesn't get clumpy. Very, very, very beautiful formula from the drugstore. My favorite color is pitch black, which is what I'm going in with today, but I also love black brown. I do not like black cherry as much. If you let it kind of sit for a while, once you open it, you might like it a little bit more. I just don't find myself grabbing for that. I definitely grab for pitch black the most. If I'm going to go in with a brown, I'll go in with my Thrive Crystal Liquid Lash Extensions. But this formula from the drugstore is so good. I think this is like seven or eight bucks. You guys have to at least try it. Moral of the story, get your hands on Maybelline Snapscara. I promise you will never look back. This will be no surprise to you if you've been following me on Instagram. I have been raving about these. I've pretty much only been wearing these in my last few videos and definitely in my last few posts on Instagram. This is the Revlon Super Lustrous Shine Lipstick. Oh my goodness, these are the best drugstore lipsticks I've ever tried. Today I went in with Fire and Ice. Look at how easy they are to apply. You can kind of do like a, you know, like a bitten lip type of situation where there's more pigment on like the innermost part of your lip and then it kind of fades out. Or you can build these up. They are glossy. They are comfortable. They are lightweight. They come in so many colors. I have six of them right now. I have glaring red, fire and ice, glassy pink, glaring coral, glossed up rose and nude illuminator. Glossed up rose and nude illuminator are my two more like natural colors. And then all the others are kind of in the like bright red orange family clearly. I am in a phase of liking a bright orangey red lip, but you know, I wanna get every color of these. They even have like a balm that I wanna get. I just haven't seen that in store and I just, I don't wanna order online unnecessarily if I don't need to at this point in time, but I just, I love these. It's such a comfortable, beautiful formula and I know you guys will love them too. And they have pretty much any and every color you could wish for. And that is it for my top seven drugstore products, you guys. I seriously try to narrow this down to five. I could not. I am so sorry. I wish I could have, but I couldn't. I promise you guys, if you get out there and try these though, you will love them. It will save you some cash money. I definitely do want to do this with like high-end products as well because you guys know how much of a drugstore girl I am. I do love my high-end products though. I really, really do. And I want to share with you what I actually think is worth spending the money on. Can someone tell me, by the way, as a side note, did Chanel stop making the Soleil de Tan de Chanel or whatever it is? Because that is sold out everywhere online. And that was one of my like all-time, all-time favorite high-end products. So somebody let me know about that below. But 
Also let me know while you're down there what your go-to drugstore product is. I would love to try some more things during this time and figure out what you guys like to play with. So definitely let me know down below. Otherwise, I hope this video was helpful to some of you. If you guys have any questions, as always, let me know down below. Otherwise, if you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, please subscribe. It means the absolute world to me. Make sure to give me a follow on Instagram as well, where I like to interact with you on a daily basis. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're being safe and have a good one. Bye-bye.